All right, welcome to the NFL preview uh, for TYT Sports. These are our first videos. I feel very excited. This is the inaugural uh, version of the channel. Uh, Jank Uger, Ben Manquitz, of course. Uh, the NFL starts uh, tomorrow. So everybody's having fun. Uh, Vikings are, uh, and, uh, and uh, the Saints are going to kick it off. That game is going to be fantastic. Here's what we're doing for you guys. We're going to do division by division previews, okay? Yeah. And we're going to tell you if uh, the teams are going to do better or worse than expected. Yeah, based on the Las Vegas over-unders. Easy for enough. Win, for wins. All right, so let's get started. NFC South, New Orleans, 10 and a half. I feel that something's going to go wrong with New Orleans. So do I. Uh, predominantly their defense, because it actually smokes and mirrors. So lucky last year. Yeah. So lucky. And Darren Sharper's out in the beginning, and he's their whole defense. So, and defense, so many breaks, so many, you know, when the turnover ratio is that high, there's a lot of luck involved with that, unless it's some crazy defense like the uh, Ravens uh, uh, when they won the Super Bowl or the 85 Bears that really generates it from pressure. The Saints didn't generate it from pressure. It seemed pretty lucky. They had a gambling defense. It worked out. You gamble for a long time. Stuff's going to go wrong. Ten and a half, but Drew Brees is so phenomenal, and the offense is great. I think they'll probably... I'm going to shockingly go under. I think they win 10 games exactly. It's a really good pick. They could easily win 10. I'll go over because I think they'll win 11, but there will be adversity. It's hard to repeat. Atlanta, 9.5. I really like Atlanta. I like Atlanta every year, and they didn't do it last year. Uh, I like Matt Ryan. I think he's a really solid quarterback in the real world, not in fantasy football. Uh, they run the ball well. I'm going over. I'm going to go under on Atlanta. I don't like I, I thought Matt, Matt Ryan was a disaster last year. Um, uh, I think he picks it back up this year. I'm really gonna, confident. They're going to run the ball a lot, uh, and the offensive line is good, and they got three good running backs. It's not that their running backs are good. It's that their offensive line is phenomenal. Yeah. Whoever you plug in there, they get massive yardage. A offensive line is always the key. They're going over. Yeah, they'll be win 500. Uh, uh, Carolina, 7. They'll be 500. Excuse me. Eight and eight. Under, under. That's an easy under. Who do they have? They got great running backs. Great That's running it. backs, great offensive line. They say good defense, but I have to see that to believe it. I will see what uh, Matt Moore does. Seven. Matt Moore, do you believe in Matt Moore? No, no, it's just we're looking to be serviceable. That's it. So I'm going under. What do you think? Even. They'll win seven games. <laughs> I don't know if you can call even. Okay, Tampa Bay. I, I don't know the number, but I'll go under. Five and a half. <laughs> under. Pick of the year. Over. Eight games. Eight games. What? Yeah. Based on what? Really good defense, solid defense, uh, a, uh, um, and uh, I think Josh Freeman sort of uh, steps up. He's Mike Williams up. looks good. He was great. effective. Mike Williams looks good. Uh, I think they can run the ball moderately effectively. I think that, uh, that uh, uh, Rashid Morris will sort of control the clock for him, and I think that, in, again, in a weak division where they really only have to worry about New Orleans, there'll be enough there. They just feel like a team that's going to step up and like be 5-2 and two, and, they'll be, <laughs> ah, and then end up 8-8. Eight eight. No, you made a great case for it, under. Um, but if you get it right, oh, and I'll a, give and, you a lot of credit. And a, and a pretty am I not merciful? And an easy schedule. That's a big part of it. I hear. You. NFC North, Green Bay's at ten. They got to go over. I mean, I'm not sure I believe in their defense, but that offense is unstoppable. Well, both their their corners are hurt, right? Yeah. And they're going to be out for like four or five games. So that there's going to be a lot of 51, 45 games yeah. in, in Green Bay. But I think they're going over. I'm going to take them under. I, uh, really? I, yeah, I don't believe in the defense. They got very lucky last year, turnover ratio. Schedule's not that hard, but I still think they're a little overhyped. I think it's a nine-win team. Minnesota's at nine and a half. By the way, Green Bay uh, is the new uh, Air Coriel San Diego Chargers. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Minnesota, nine and a half. What do you think? I think over. I think a team with that great a running game and a solid defense wins 11 games. I think they'll go over. I think they'll go barely over. Uh, Brett Favre, man, you got to hand it to the guy. He's been hanging around and winning a I lot think of they, games for a long time. I think they can win 11 games if Tavares Jackson's the quarterback. They run the ball, and, and Adrian Peterson, I think, is the best player in the league. Chicago at 7.5. Under. Can't stand Chicago. Really? Yeah, the, what, do you, what do you got there? I mean, who's their receivers? Who's their Matt Forte, you kidding me? I think Jay Cutler, you kidding me? I think who's, who's still alive on their defense? Who isn't 84 and have seven injuries apiece? Richard Dent. <laughs> I think they'll win seven games just under Detroit, five and a half. That's a big number. They shouldn't give him five and a half because I want to go over on them because I like Stafford. Right. I like Calvin Johnson. I like Bess as their running back. They're going to win more than five and a half? I'll be really bold and say they'll win six. I think they'll win more than that, too. I think Stafford makes a big jump this year. I think he's really tough. And uh, 
and I like Javid Best, and I like Calvin Johnson, and uh, plus those other receivers, Mike Williams, Charlie Rogers, all those no <laughs> all those number one picks they have. Those guys are going to be awesome. They'll come back. And yeah, they'll come be back. Fantastic. By the way, Mike Williams with a big resurgence apparently in Seattle for Pete Carroll. Yeah, He's good luck start. with that.